So we've uh, gone through and used the hairdryer just to dry off Tyler's hair. Really quite natural, as you can see, just allowing that to be, uh, yeah, just to, with its natural wave movement and to sit how it's going to be if he just allows it to dry naturally. And it's at this point I can now see the hair that little bit more voluminous or you know we've got a little bit of natural volume to it there now and I just want to make sure that we still have the right contours and the right shape within the haircut so I don't know um, I'm looking around here and I'm seeing just a little bit of extra lift uh, and thickness around here so now I just want to address another point here about razoring on dry hair so this is something which a lot of people, the majority of people say that you should not raise it on dry hair. This is correct. The hair should be done, the hair should be freshly shampooed, it should be wet, it should be moist, whether you're using leave-in conditioners or preferably the, um, the actual glide spray here that we've got. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is, as I say, just checking this. And because we're only gonna be doing uh, let's say 2% of the overall amount of hair that we've cut with a razor, you can work with it this way. So we're just looking little tiny bits of hair. It's not a lot. So this is acceptable. If I felt that I was in a position where I have missed a bit or I, there's a bit that I've really got to address again because it's quite a lot, I would have to damp the hair down again uh, and make sure that it's in the right sort of state for me to cut it properly. So we're just going around and this is where you get to see the benefits. As I see, you can see it's nice and soft, graduated all the way through. Just in, and it's things like this that I'm looking for. So can you see that that hair there, this bit's a little bit disconnected from it? Tiny little bits, but what it does is it just means that the haircut blends properly and sits where it should do. So again, I'm seeing just a little bit more bulk in this area here. So I don't wanna to take too much out because this comes back to what I was saying again about not leaving it too short in there because if we had to have too much shortness there and remove the bulk, it would mean that it would make the ear look as though it was sticking um, right out an awful lot more. So we just want to be aware of that. Um, and then just going round and again, just softening these edges. And you can see we're just touching just little tiny little bits of hair, nothing major, no major amounts. So this is okay. Uh, and especially because we're using a brand new blade. So the blade is, is um, still really sharp. So um, as we're going over and looking at the last bit of the haircut, which is the fringe area, and this is probably the most important part because it's the bit that we see, it's the bit everybody sees to begin with. So this is the area that I want to make sure has got that little bit of texture. Now, um, I'm gonna go over that. It looks okay, maybe one or two bits here, but I'm just gonna go over that with the flat irons. Um, a, for two reasons. One, to show the client the versatility and the shape, that he's got a natural shape here that he can, he can uh, rock when he's just normal, and then when he wants to go out or he wants to do something that a little bit different, he has that alternative, and it'll show him uh, it'll show the texture of the razor cut up much more. So we're just gonna flat iron this front, and then we'll let you see where we are with that.